Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. A great pleasure indeed to meet you here this morning. We thank God for making it possible. The word of God says in the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verses 24, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My dear friends, allow me to share a reflection with you on how to face the day on how to face the day. A long distance world champion athlete, athlete narrated on how she starts her day by covering 30 kilometers every day. Every day. Something that she has been doing for close to seven years. And she said she does 30 kilometers to prepare for world championship race of 10 kilometers. Every morning she's doing 30 kilometers to prepare for world championship of 10 kilometers. I thought for a while of how a dedicated athlete works many hours to see a success in her career. And they, I then thought about Christians. Are we able to say that we can make such kind of commitment to see a better, a fruitful, a more productive day. The word of God has said clearly that let us rejoice. Let us rejoice because this is the day that the Lord has made. My dear friend, are you facing a dull and a lonely, painful day? It is possible to take authority. It is possible to take authority over your day and say, I am the master of this day. I will not go by how the events will turn. I will go by what my master, the Lord Jesus Christ has said. He has said that I can rejoice in this day and I believe it. I take it. Are you facing are you facing difficulty? An arrogant boss perhaps. The word of God says in the book of Romans chapter 12 chapter 12 verses 18 live peaceably with all men you can decide today that it doesn't matter what will come with arrogancy of your boss it doesn't matter you know how bad your, your boss is determined to make your day look like you can say I'm a peaceful man I'm a peaceful woman I'm a peaceful young man I take peace in my heart and I'm going to live with peace. I'm not going to take tantrums of bitterness. I'm not going to take anything that will cause my day not to work. I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing. I'm glad I'm living in peace. Are you facing uncertainty? Uncertainty. You don't know. You don't know. You're not sure of how things are going to turn. My friend, it is possible. You can rejoice. You can rejoice and by rejoicing you will confuse the enemy. You will confuse the enemy when he's determined to throw things at you. Tantrums, bitterness. You can decide to rejoice and by rejoicing you will confuse him. You will confuse him in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, the word of God tells us to walk by faith. If you're going out and you're uncertain, you don't know how things will turn. You're going out and you're trusting that an opportunity will come your way. You're going out and you're trusting that an open door will come your way. Let me tell you, my dear friend, your day should not be gloomy. Your day should not be bitter. You can decide to walk by faith. The Bible says without faith, you cannot please God. Without faith, you cannot please God. And again, Perhaps you're facing a bright and a fruitful day. A bright and a productive day. A bright and a working day. I want to advise you, enjoy His sufficient. Enjoy the sufficient of God. And be filled with thanksgiving and praise. Be filled with thanksgiving and praise. Celebrate the Lord. Honor Him. Give Him praise. 
Give him praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Rejoice and be glad in the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice in it. Be glad in it. I want to pray even as I allow you to go out into a glorious day. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you again. Many thanks for giving us this new day. Many thanks, Lord, for Uh, allowing your word to shape our days that we can rejoice no matter what comes our way. We can be happy no matter what comes our way. And therefore we are determining that this day is working for us. This is the day of that the Lord has made and we are masters in this day. We are not subjects. We are masters of the day. We are rejoicing. We are rejoicing in the Lord. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you. That Lord, by rejoicing, we will see your goodness. By rejoicing, we will see your, your victory. By rejoicing, we will experience open doors. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. It was nice to have you here. My name is Philip Odera. And we meet again. Stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.